Okay, welcome to this tutorial. It's going to be a quick one. Uh, we're going to jump right in. So, this is our footage. This is what we're going to use. We're going to blur out his face like you saw in the beginning of this video. So, what I'm going to do is just duplicate this by doing Control D. Or you can do Edit and uh, Copy, Edit and Paste or Duplicate. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my top layer. I'm just going to go to the end of the frame here just because I know it works better. I'm going to grab my Circular Mask tool. And I'm going to just drag a circular mask over his face. Just like so. I'm going to increase the size a little. Just like that. Then what I'm going to do is with the mask selected in my tracker tab here. There's a bunch of options here. You can just do the position. You could do the position and rotation. I'm going to do position scale and rotation because he's going to be moving back into Z space. So I'm just going to play that backwards from the first frame and I'll be right back once it's finished tracking his face. Okay, there we go. We have it all tracked. Uh, so if you, if I scrub through the timeline here, you'll see it. I mean, it's not perfect, but that's not what really what we're going for. Um, we're going to go ahead and continue with the effect. You can go frame by frame and just adjust the mask path. Uh, individually if you want to I'm not gonna do that that's gonna be annoying I'm just gonna apply the Gaussian blur you could do the legacy or the just the regular one whichever you want uh, but I'm just gonna do the normal one uh, I'm gonna increase the blurriness by like I don't know maybe 40 or 50 maybe yeah maybe 50 or 60 I'm gonna increase the expansion of the mask just so it'll cover more of his face and I mean, that is pretty much all we need to do for that. I'm going to click out of here so you can see. And yeah, there's his face covered. You can't see a thing, which is kind of the idea. And obviously you can increase the mask, uh, sorry, the Gaussian blur more. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. You can also do this hand, uh, what do you call it, keyframing. Uh, so if I just duplicate that for a sec, I'll hide that. Uh, I'll get the mask again. I will draw the mask over his face and drag that. Whoops. Drag that over his face there. And uh, then I will go to the mask path here and keyframe it every little bit. And this, I would only do this because maybe I didn't have the CC version of After Effects, but otherwise I wouldn't really waste my time doing this. It would just take too much time I think and uh, it's not going to be perfect the way I'm doing it but you get the idea uh, yeah you can see it's missing his face I have to go in between those keyframes to adjust it but I'm not going to waste my time with that but yeah that's pretty much that uh, the effect in if you wanted to do it in Premiere Pro is pretty much exactly the same you'd have to manually keyframe it but yeah, otherwise that's pretty much it. Mask tracking and After Effects. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, consider subscribing. I am going to be making more in the future. There's definitely a lot of other tutorials on the channel you can check out. But yeah, remember, until next time, keep smiling, keep shooting.